Good morning, class. I am Mr. Silver, and over the next few months, we will be learning the ins and outs of nephology. Now this course will be like no other throughout your time here at the CIA Special Agent Training School for somewhat gifted children. In passing this course, you have taken a giant leap towards making your country proud and a safer place. And in failing, you have extremely limited your chances in finding a way back into this institution. Leon, please. Today you will be receiving your blade. This blade is your life. Deliverer of death, tool of retribution. You will keep this blade sharp. You will not neglect it. A damaged blade is a choice between standing on your feet or lying six feet underground. Now I'd like you all to take it home, read chapter four by tomorrow, and meet in the training yards by 9 a.m. That'll be all. Oh, and course fees are due tomorrow, and they can be handed in directly to me. You know, Bennett, I try to do good to you. Be a good father, but being a father is not the easiest thing on the block. <laughs> No, ignore that. Ignore that. It's nothing. Good morning, class. Today we will be learning the rudimentary skill of holding your knife. Johnny, that is your name, correct? Yes, sir. Chapter 4, page 7, line 2. Um, it says to caress your knife as you would a young Catholic boy, sir. You are absolutely correct. Everyone, please remove your knives carefully and gently and hold them out in front of you. If you feel anyone is invading your personal space, I am always here if you need to talk. Finger lights off. Where is your blade? Show me your blade now. Get a hold of yourself, boy. What is wrong with you? Finger lights off. Put that blade down now. Immediately. Put the blade down now. If you don't put it away, you're gonna brutally murder someone that isn't expecting it and just wants to know what's going on. Hey, uh, what's going on here? Okay. Yes, yes. I understand. Thank you. Have a good day. Ben? Johnny's gonna be okay. Now we do have to talk though. If it were up to me, you'd be removed from this course immediately. Put into prison, under every charge I could think of, and sued for everything you've got. But, because your father is a large donor, and your family has a long past as CIA special agents specializing in knifeology, I will keep you in. Under one condition. You stab your fear of knives in the heart and watch it bleed. Do you understand? No, I understand your situation. I really do. Back when I was a kid in high school, there was this kid. Uh, and there was this group of friends I was in. And uh, this kid was deathly afraid of uh, peanuts. Oh man, that was funny. One day, we decided to bring some peanuts to school and surprise him, you know? What harm could come of that? So we gave them to him, and all of a sudden he just turned red and puffed up and stopped breathing and stuff. He started kicking him around, punching him, making fun of him. He looked so stupid. Um, then the teacher came, took him away, and we never saw him after that. He must have moved schools or something. I don't remember. But every time I'm scared, just, I just think of that. It just gives me a good giggle. Anyways, in the meantime, let me present you with this. This is a fork. 
Not as dangerous as a knife, but deadly, nonetheless. It'll cost you though. Uh, I can't just pick these up from the thrift store, you know. Uh, I paid a hundred dollars for this, but I'm thinking of overcharging you. Two hundred? Let's say two hundred. I saw what happened in the yards. I was in forging a passport 101. We see the whole thing through the window. Johnny screams. The entire school heard him. So what you got there? Why are you in this school if you're scared of knives? I, I don't I don't mean to assume, I just well I heard it from well you, you know. You know, when I feel scared, I try and play a song in my head. Like, humming along. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It reminds me of when I was a kid. My mom would put on the radio, and beautiful music would play. Drifting through the summer wind. She'd bring out lemonade, and we would dance around in the backyard, getting cut up in amongst the drying clothes. It really was quite fun. And then my dad would come home, and he was excited to see us but had bad smell on his breath. He would remove his belt, hit my mom, and then chase us around the yard as we laugh and scream until he finally grabs me by the shoulder, tosses me to the ground, holding the belt in the air. Anyways, see you later. Uh, so, how are you doing? So tell me, is there, do you have any memories from your past that you would say are scary, frightening, or traumatic? Okay. In one word, what would you say is the answer to life? Okay, I have a... Here. Here. Oh, sorry, I'm a bit tired lately. Okay, so uh, what do you see in this image here? Really, because um, I see uh, Carl on top of my wife. He was my friend. I only went to his marriage counseling because he said he needed clients. We weren't even having problems. And then I left divorce and she left with Carl and my kids, and half my money. Okay, I have something I want you to try. Take this knife and break it in half. It'll make you feel better. Yeah, well, it can be hard to get a clean break, I would know. What is that? I'd like to see you try and stab someone with that. Good morning, class. Excellent attendance I see here. Everyone, repeat the motions after me. And a one, and a two, and just a three, as a knife, and a four, deadly. and a five, and a None, Janice, I swear. Get this kid out of my class. He stabbed me in the back with a fork for crying out loud. No, 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 no. If you don't, I'll quit. I mean it, okay? I know I can't. Not again with my gambling. 
No, I didn't tell my parents. Telling them that you sold their house which isn't something that comes up in normal conversation. No, I'm not stealing money from the school, Janice. Screw you. Get a real job. I'm not stealing. This is the final straw. There's absolutely no way you could kill someone with this. Two spoon, two spoon. You know, when I'm scared, I like to think back of Christmas, 1973. Uncle Gary was there. Okay, hi. My name is Leon. Or as my friends call me, Looney. Hi, hi Leon. Yes. Why do they call you Looney? That's a really great question. Thank you for asking. So now you see, I graduated a couple years back, and the school can be quite stressful, as you all know. And when I got stressed, I would run through the halls yelling, Skookum, Skookum. Looney, short for lunatic. Why are you here? Now come on, really, we're all here for the same reason. Why don't you start with your name? Well, my name is, uh, Crouton. <laughs> Hi, Crouton. What? Hi, I'm Kyle. I'm on a journey of self-discovery and have decided to spell my name K-I-L-E. Just letting you know. There's absolutely no way I'm teaching him! No, please! School says they don't have enough money to kick you out. So before we get started, I'd like to say that I charge by the hour. And will accept payment in any way, including Interact Flash. Now I can promise you, this will not be fun. But it will be necessary for you to overcome your fear. And now pick it up. Pick up the knife. Would you please come with me?
anything, I'll fix ya. This won't hurt a bit. Here we go. Father needs a good agent's disguise. How do you think you're conceived? <laughs> ben, have you ever heard of John F. Kennedy? How about Abe Lincoln? How about this one? The Vietnam War. <laughs> Those were good times. Those were me, son. Those were me, with a knife. I could be you someday. No! I'm in the truck! <laughs> <laughs> you silly, you silly boy. You s I'm your father. You have no choice. You're going. <laughs> You're going! You have no choice. You take a couple of these, you won't feel a thing. And don't you go saying that Uncle Gary never did anything for you now, okay? Good afternoon, class. Mr. Silver will not be returning to teach this class. I'm Mr. Ware, the substitute for the time being. Are there any questions? Yes. What happened to Mr. Silver? He was caught stealing money from the school to fuel his gambling addiction. Now let that be a lesson to you. Well, what's the lesson? Don't get caught and always piss straight. Now are there any real questions? No? Mm, good. Now as far as I'm concerned, you've all passed this class. Now get out there and start stabbing some people.
looking for anything? Chips and drinks are over there. Would you like to donate to help impoverished kids leading a life of crime? What's your name? Bennett Schnibletsov. Johnny, are you still alive? <gasps> I'm, I'm a sick finxer. Yes, I come, come from a long line of uh, a family who fixes sinks. Have a good night, and if you need another killing, you've got my card. You're gonna need a disguise to get into the embassy. Someone tried to kill Johnny. We have to split up and try and find ben, clues. you always be my best friend, okay? Remember that. I'm sorry for everything I've done to you. Now go! Party!